Adrian Marshmody signing in. Hey, my programming allies, welcome to part six of the Gopher game. So the Gopher game is a cheated platformer in Python with the Pygame library. And in this tutorial, we're going to be getting around to some exciting stuff. We're going to create the block class, get into some more advanced object-oriented programming. So it's going to be an awesome tutorial. So again, this is part six of the Python and Pygame tutorial series. So if you guys missed any parts, be sure to check them out. Make sure you're all up to date on the previous parts before carrying on with this tutorial. But if you guys are all good to go, Head on over to your Python document. So to edit a Python document, again, all you have to do is right click on it and you will see, if I, oops, lost it, there we go. You will see edit with idle. So all you have to do is left click that and you will be good to go. And if you guys are wondering what that awesome little shortcut I just used to zoom in and out real fast, Windows button plus or minus, be sure you have num lock enabled. It's an awesome little shortcut and I use it all the time. So let's make the screen bigger. Uh, there we go. So in the last tutorial we covered creating the block clear the block class Which is an entity which is an object which is a pygame.sprite.sprite and in this tutorial We're going to actually create the level here So let's begin the official coding countdown timer a enter and let's get coding In the last tutorial we created the level list is what's called in Python So we've named it level here. We've created opened up some braces to make the list. Now inside the braces, we're going to actually create something similar to what looks like a level. So let's create a few rows here. So give yourself a couple spaces here. Add a comma at the end of that. That no, not a dot, a comma. There we go. At the end of the closing of the um, quotations, copy it. Control C and give us paste it a few times. And what this is doing is called creating an array, is what it actually is called. Or it's also known as a matrix 2 is what it's called. So I've just copied it like uh, six times here, so that should be good. Now inside the array, make something that looks kind of similar to a platformer. We're going to name the variable for the platformer, which is list, I mean a string. We're just going to name it P for platform. So. Alright, so we've created the level list here now. So now we're going to actually be use, using that list. So to use the list, Go give yourself a little space to work here. Be sure you're tabbed correctly because in Python, if you're not tabbed correctly, it's, you'll get a big mess of error and Python will say, hey man, you're supposed to be tabbing right. So like like in a language like C++ or Java, I know that you don't, like tabbing or spacing is not required at all. But that's why Python is a great starter language because it teaches you to tab correctly before moving on to more advanced languages. So it's just a great language to help get you started good coding practices. So now we're going to create a for loop. So we're going to say for row in level. So what this for loop here is doing, oh, and, and a colon to the end of that. So this is here is going to run a chunk of code as many times as it sees a row in the level. So give a new line. And now we're going to create another for loop inside the for loop. And we're going to say for column in row so what this is going to do is it's going to run this chunk of code whenever it sees a character inside the column inside the row i should say so then give yourself another new line and now we're going to create some if statements so the first if statement we're going to create is if then create uh, open up a string so if i'm um, like not what am i saying getting a little confused here so if col for column is equal to so that's two equal signs so that's testing if it is equal to open up some quotations inside this quotations type p so if it's going to find p inside here it's going to that sounds wrong if it finds a lot of p inside here it's going to run this chunk of code here so add a colon at the end of that new line and now what's going to happen well we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to call the block class block class open up the parentheses and inside that give it the x and y coordinates so x and y just like that and that's all you have to do so that, that alone is like if we run this we should be good to go run module okay save and we should be error free or is it stuck okay we're good so no errors we didn't have any Python errors or indentation problems here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here at the main function is we're going to create a sprite group. So we're going to call this here um, platform, platform group is what we're going to call it. Group, group, there we go. Set it equal to, 
and we're gonna set this equal to a pi game dot sprite dot sprite dot group just like that or I think it's a dot sprite dot sprite dot group so we gotta go dot sprite dot sprite I don't think I spelled that right sprite dot group there we go and now what we're going to do so this is a group here so to add to a group all you have to do is type so we're going to go into the column into if column here we're going to give a new line and we're going to go platform group dot add platform dot add whoops okay um there we go ah, dot add all right, so this is going to add the block, another block class to the platform group. Now up here, we're going to create another list. So we're going to call this list here, platform list with a capital L list. And we're going to set this equal to a list. So to do that, open up a square brace and close a square brace. And that's all you have to do. So to add something to a list, you have to type the name of the list and then dot append. So we're going to append this block now to the platform list platform list dot append so this is going to add block class to the platform list and I feel that we should be good to go we're going to quickly check let's compile and run it not compile just run it and no errors so Python saying hey man you're good to go so actually I just was looking over the code and also I realized wait a minute the main function isn't even being called or ran, so we don't even know if we're error free or not. So let's run the main loop. So go down to the very bottom of your code, the very, very bottom. That's right there. And all you have to do is type the name of the main loop, which is just main, and then add some parentheses, and you're good to go. So now let's run it, and now we'll see, we're probably going to see like 5 million errors because we haven't caught in any errors yet. So wait for it. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we've got problems here argument must be rect style argue object so it's inside in in it in block object must be a rect style argument. your time is up your time okay my is time is up, up. Your... all right so we are going to have a debugging day so that's not a big deal at all um i get tons of errors when i'm programming too like so don't feel bad if you guys get errors with but with learning curve i found that once you get into programming a lot more you find that you won't make quite as many errors but if, i still make tons of errors and i've been programming for about two years now so so we're going to cover debugging all this in the next tutorial and when i get back to the tutorial stage i'm going to be like come on unravel these you have to check every bulb Whoop, got a little knot here you work on that i'll get the other box but it's nothing that we can't solve with some debugging. I mean, that makes about about roughly a third of my actual programming. So debugging is nothing to be afraid of. It's all part of the programming. So that said, I want to tell you guys our upload schedule. So our upload schedule is five days a week on the weekdays. And then we take the weekends off. That being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have any, any questions about the Gopher game, Python, or Pi game, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if you guys enjoy what we do, and you guys are helped out by us, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you next Wednesday. I mean, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Or whenever news breaks, Marshall Marty out.